Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. Spooky season is upon us so I figured today we could go ahead with my yearly tradition of decorating the island for Halloween. This year it is a kid core island instead of a furry core island so it's gonna be different it's gonna be interesting but we're gonna get our island ready for Halloween ready for spooky season. Let's just go ahead and jump on in. But super quickly I just wanted to remind you guys that I'm still hosting a giveaway for two packs of Sanrio amiibo cards and there is still time to enter to win one of the packs all you have to do is download disney emoji blitz using my link down in the description below screenshot yourself hitting level 10 and dm that screenshot to me on instagram so last year like i said i had my fairy court island pelican bay and i didn't use like the colored pumpkins all i used was like white and green pumpkins which you know i feel like pumpkins jack-o-lanterns are pretty iconic when they're orange so i'm excited to use like more colors this year use orange use i don't know i can't remember the other colors that there are besides orange white and green that might be it i also don't know if i have enough pumpkins i'm kind of scared that i don't have enough but we're gonna go and check I've harvested quite a bunch and I do have some in my inventory, so we at least have a little bit of a backup, but I do want to go and grab some more. Gotta walk past the rainbow fields and here are the pumpkins. Okay, a lot of them are orange and we even have pumpkins with two pumpkins growing, which is great. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, there's yellow pumpkins. Those are the ones that I was forgetting about. I knew there was a fourth color, but I couldn't remember what it was, but it is yellow. I'm probably going to mostly decorate with the orange ones anyways. I don't even see a singular green pumpkin in this patch. I don't know what happened to my green ones. I think I have some in my storage. I hope so. I mean, I don't really think it matters anyway. I think I'm mostly going to decorate with my orange ones. Let's get this money tree too while we're here. And I think I got the majority of the recipes. I feel like I'm just missing one. I'm missing like the little spooky candy basket. But these are all the ones I have. I have the spooky chair, table, tower, scarecrow, lantern set, lantern, standing lamp, arch, trick lamp, tree, fence, and treats basket. So this is still a good amount. And I have a couple of items that I've already bought from Nooks, like when Nooks is selling some of them. I meant to buy it every single day. I meant to buy the item that they're selling every single day, but I've, I've been forgetting. So I'm going to go check if they have anything right now. Besties, hi. Give me this. Give me this. What is this? Give me the lantern set. Thank you. I will take that. Thanks. The less crafting that I have to do, the better. Am I right or am I right? I don't know about you guys, but I do not like how my island looks with these color of like grass and hedges and trees i think it looks so dull and boring i cannot wait to excuse excuse the absolute audacity right now you better just want to give me something or else i'm gonna be upset no she wants to leave i'm thinking of moving off the island girl girl you are not leaving. Uh, I haven't even made you a yard yet. Actually, that's probably why she wants to leave. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ketchup. I promise I'm going to make it for you. Just, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the update. I'm sorry. And look at this. I cleaned up in my house a little bit. I got rid of most of the DIYs. I still have a lot on the island, but they're out of my house at least. Okay, but let me dump these bells on the floor and let's see what we're working with in our storage so as you can see i have a lot of orange pumpkins so i feel like we're good on orange pumpkins i have like no yellow pumpkins which kind of sucks but that's fine and i literally have like no green pumpkins but it's okay we'll just stick with orange we'll stick with the classic we don't need to deviate you know we're good and then i also have one spooky treat basket very cute and i literally only have five pieces of candy i need to step up my game before halloween comes but okay as for items like i said i've already bought some from nook's cranny we have a spooky arch um, we have a couple of standing lamps. I think I crafted a few of these too. I have a ton of spooky trees. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so exciting. And I already have one spooky trick lamp and I have a spooky candy set. So that's what we got going already, which is honestly a really decent amount of stuff. But let's go ahead and craft some more. I totally forget. What the heck do you need to make this stuff? I definitely want to make a bunch of these spooky towers. They're so cute. 
And we need some classic spooky lanterns. Uh, yeah, maybe a scarecrow will be good. So let's grab some wood. I literally want to make like 50 of these. The spooky tower is actually symbolism. It represents all of our deepest, darkest fears and how they stack on top of each other and how when stacked, even individual fears can become something great and tall and scary when you put them all together. This is literally like the most crafting I've done since I don't it, a long time I'm excited for this I haven't decorated leapfrog for like any seasons I think yeah we haven't decorated for like literally anything so I'm really excited for this decorating my island for holidays was a big part of my first island and I really miss that I have my little seasonal area and everything and I don't think I'm gonna have a seasonal area on this island just because I'm literally about to finish it and I think after the update it'll pretty much be done but decorating for a season takes me back and I'm very excited okay let's see what some of these customizations look like we got yellow we got green and we got monochrome oh my goodness I for sure have to do this look at the spooky candy set in yellow with the pink little mat this is so cute I have to do this for sure. Just gotta. And then I'm gonna change this treats basket to orange because I feel like it looks cuter in orange. And let's do as many spooky towers as we can do in green. And this can be for like the back part of the island that's like a little bit more natural. We can just throw in some green pumpkins back there and just kind of fit it in a little bit better. Okay, I could literally only do one. So that's fine. That's, that's totally okay. That's totally okay. I'll just grab my, my Nook Miles and not, not cry. Nope. Okay, so since we're already at my house, I guess let's start here. Let's see if I can cram anything in this cluttered area. Let me fix up these flowers. They keep, they keep getting out of hand. Let me actually be smart and put down some custom designs. Just like some simple little ones. Let's literally do like some freaking some freaking leaves and over here let's do i don't know what looks cute a little rainbow that way the flowers don't spread anymore wow okay so i think let's pick up this little scooter and let's have something really cute maybe a lantern how many do i have i only have two okay okay wait what if we actually do a spooky arch instead would that be would that be crazy would that be a little silly would that be a little quirky? Ooh, okay. It, it looks kind of awkward on the bridge, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one. Maybe this is not the spot for a spooky arch. Yeah, let, we'll, we'll find another place for you, buddy. Okay, let's see how a spooky tower looks right here. Ooh, uh, that's cute. I like that. Okay, we'll do some, some spooky tower right there. Maybe we can try the spooky arch right here instead. I feel like it'll look a little bit less awkward. Come on, I have faith in you. Okay, um, maybe if we just pull it forward a little bit. Uh, I feel like it really gets covered by the symbol panels. Okay, spooky arch, I, I promise you, we're gonna find a spot for you, I promise. Okay, let's head down to the entrance. Um, I feel like this cone is literally just begging to be picked up and replaced, like honestly. Okay, spooky standing lamp looks so cute. I think I'm gonna do one on the other side too. We're gonna pick up the little Mario coin. Uh, hopefully I remember to put all of these back in the proper places because that's literally my fear is that I put all this stuff or like I pick up all this stuff and then I literally just like forget where it goes but it's okay I can always look back on this video that's just that's what I tell myself I love it I did something really similar on my fairy core island just having these little lamps at the entrance but I think they're such a cute little addition and I just I just love it okay and then sadly I don't really have a lot of space to decorate around the plaza oh my god stitches oh my god Henry what is going on? Are you guys okay? Did they like literally beat each other up or something? Stitches. What happened? So many untied shoes, so little time. Someone's got to do something. It might as well be me. Just think about all those feet tripping over loose laces, but hardly anyone around here wears shoes. So how can I learn to tie shoelaces? I think that's what he said. My, my cam is kind of covering the dialogue. Buddy, okay, Henry's chilling now. My dude, what's wrong? I got to learn to tie shoes. Why is he so obsessed with learning how to tie shoes? My dude. 
You don't wear shoes. Nobody wears shoes except for me. I don't know, how do I fix him? Is he just gonna be like this forever? I keep talking to him, he gives me the same dialogue. I've never had this happen before. Stitches, I'm sorry. I don't know how to help you, my dude. Oh, I feel so bad. But we do have to move on and I'm gonna go ahead and stick some pumpkins, some little regular spooky lantern. We'll have maybe two in here. Let's do this. We can replace some of these dropped items because Isabel keeps yelling at me for my dropped items and she brought me back down to three stars even though I had literally gotten four stars. I'm just a little salty about it. Just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Some cute little Halloween additions. It looks a little symmetrical, but it's, it's fine. Okay, heading on over to Bob's house. What can we give Bob? Whoops, I did not mean to do that. I think this little cake is begging just to get picked up and replaced. I'm so sorry. Let's give him a spooky lantern. Easy, easy. That looks so cute. Oh my goodness. And his beach is like overgrown. Oh no, I'll have to fix that later. I am gonna be saving my dream address at the end of this video. So if you're interested in coming and visiting my island with all of the spooky decorations, definitely stick around to the end. Or my dream address is probably in the description. Uh, so you can just look there to save you. I'll save you the trouble, you're welcome. I'm gonna replace this from a wall. It's kind of a stretch, but can I fit a spooky tree? No, I can't. That's fine. Let's give her, what can we give her? Spooky tower, yeah. There we go. Oh, looking nice, looking nice. I'm so sorry to catch up, but you don't get anything because your house is not decorated yet. Okay, let's see if the spooky arch would be cute here. Oh, I feel like that's really cute. I don't mind this. Okay, this is where we'll put the spooky arch. I think this is a tome. You're welcome, spooky arch. And let's see if Jeremiah is crafting maybe, because that would be nice. Okay, he is not, goodbye. Okay, we've got Tangy's little orange shoe stand. I want to put a little, what's it called, candy set here. I feel like this will be super cute, cute, very cute. And then now we're over here in the back part of the island near the campsite. And we definitely need some spooky trees up in here, definitely. Oh, they're so cool. I love them. Okay, let's see if I can manage to fit it in here so it doesn't look super awkward. And then I don't know which side looks the best. I keep turning it to try to like figure out what looks best. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Let's definitely do some more wherever we can fit them. I push the campsite sign forward a little bit and we can stick a little spooky tree here. Oh my goodness. The weeds are also out of control. Oh my goodness, ignore this. But at the same time, it kind of like contributes to like the spooky vibe, you know, like ooh, overgrown and spooky, you know? Okay, there we go. There's the next spooky tree. I have two more, so let's do another one right here. I feel like this fits in really good. There we go, spooky. And then now we're here in the rainbow garden. So I feel like we definitely need a little scarecrow somewhere here. Maybe right at the beginning, we can do the little spooky scarecrow. He's so cute. He's like protecting the flowers. Ah, oh, thank you so much, my friend. Oh, we definitely have to do stuff around the shopping area. Nooks and Abel's for sure need a little bit of spooky love. And you know what? Let's do like here somewhere, kind of like near the plaza area. Let's do a little spooky tower. I love these. I literally love these so much. And then the candy shop literally already has like candy pieces. So I'm counting that as the Halloween decoration. So candy shop, you're done. You're done. Thankfully, Nooks already has like these little pumpkins. So, you know, anything I put will kind of like match the vibe already. I think I can squeeze something in here right in front of the little vending machine. Oh, look at that, a spooky tower just slipped out of my inventory, wow. How did that happen? And then honestly, I don't even come up here to Abel's like ever, but we'll still put something down. I think the little lantern set would be really cute right here. Yeah, there we go. And then on top of it, I will put the beloved spooky treats basket. There you go. It's so tiny. It's so tiny and small. Oh my God, that's so funny. And then I would love something right here next to this bridge. Let's try a standing lamp. There we go, and it's green. I don't mind that. I don't mind that too much. And then Tangy's house definitely needs something. I don't know what. Let's do, let's pick up this mug and let's put my other spooky candy set on top. There we go, they're sharing some 
Halloween candy at the restaurant. Okay, we also have the museum. So honestly, I'm thinking spooky tower. There we go. I think that looks really nice. The green looks really cute next to everything. Okay, let's see if we can just fit it right here. There we go. I mean, you can't really see the inside, but that's okay. I'll just put it here because there is nothing on this stall right now. So it needs a little bit of love. And then Henry's classroom definitely needs a little bit of spooky love. So let's give him a, what's it called? Spooky lantern. Gonna shove this in right by his desk, just like that. There we go. Very cute. Lastly, for our spooky tree, I'm gonna see if it fits back here. Might be pushing it. I think we're pushing it a little bit. Um, it might get in the way just a tiny bit, but that's okay. There we go. Now the uh, car wash area is nice and spooky. So yeah, there we go. I am pretty pleased with how everything came out. Um, of course, when I decorate for seasons, I like to keep it kind of subtle because I don't want to compromise the integrity of my beautiful Kidcore Island. So I just like to keep it minimal, just add some little touches here and there. And I feel like I really did accomplish that and everything looks nice. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed decorating my island with me today. Don't forget to check my links down in the description below for merch, my Discord, social medias, all that jazz. It can all be found in the description down below along with my dream address if you would like to come visit. Like I said earlier, my dream address is updated with all of the spooky stuff so you can come and walk around Leapfrog in uh, the spooky Halloween season if you would like that. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked this video and if you do like videos like these feel free to hit the subscribe button too for more Animal Crossing content. I do let's plays, villager hunts, speed builds, all kinds of fun Animal Crossing things over here on the channel so if you're into that feel free to stick around. Wow look at Henry back there he is he is just belting it out right now. Thank you once again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.